Okay guys, so I'm about to do my nails. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the intro when I've done my nails, so yeah. Hey you, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. As always, it's Sai, but if you know me, you know I didn't film an intro. I said that I was gonna film an intro. That's why I film intros when I first start filming. That's why I don't wait till the end to film an intro, and that's why I'm here right now. Anyway, hope you enjoy. But here's what my nails are looking like right now. I did not film this set. As you can see, this nail is off. I would have glued it back on, but I'm not going to. This is what they looked like, butterflies and purple. I will link the video that, what? Okay, but yeah. Also, sorry about the lighting. I would get my light and stuff, but I'm really like pressed for time a little bit. I need to, it is one, I mean, 2.04. I need to be out of here at like five. So it shouldn't take me three hours to do my nails, but yeah, this is not gonna be a whole like official video of me showing y'all exactly how I do it step by step. This is some of the products I'm gonna be using. I have other stuff over there that I ordered from Amazon and stuff right there. I can do a full haul at some point, but this is not gonna be that. But this is just an overview of the stuff that I'm using. I was gonna use baking soda, but we have cornstarch, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I also can, uh, we just got back from like semi-vacation too. So it's like, what was I about to say? Oh, I'm also going to link the videos that gave me inspiration for my nails today. You guys have already seen them, so you'll see how they look. I don't know how they look right now, cause I'm not done them yet, but yes, I'm about to record again. This is not a tutorial. I'm just gonna show y'all a little bit of me doing my nails and yeah. Also, I got this lamp. I also ordered a poly gel kit that came with like a mini lamp. I kind of wish that was here right now, but it's not here. It was supposed to come today, but it's running late from Amazon or whatever. So I already have this lamp that I ordered with my stuff from Amazon. It's kind of hard to do my thumb in here for whatever reason, like the way I put the nails on, cause I'm not gluing them. I'm going to use gel. Let me set you guys up. Here's what the lamp looks like. It's one of those things where you like, if you put your fingers in, I don't know if I super recommend this right now, but I don't know. I really don't know, but yeah, you can take this off though so that's what i'm going to do when i'm doing what i'm going to when i put my nails on i'm going to take i'm going to have this like this but when i'm doing the polish or whatever i'm not even sure if i'm using gel polish i probably will like for the top coat and stuff i'm going to put this back together that's all i'm saying okay okay i'm about to start and y'all will see okay so this is why you should be careful when you're doing what you're doing because i cut myself and now I'm bleeding. I was pushing my cuticles back with this and I guess I went too hard. And again, I am bleeding. But basically, I just took my nails off. I cut them with the clippers I showed you guys and it was really easy and then I just popped them off. As you can see, I filed, I buffed, I wiped it with acetone. And then I put this on there to get the cuticles off and push them back. And here we are. That'll be the last nail I work on. Cause I'm like, cut. That was crazy. But now I am going to dehydrate and prime my nails. And then we will get on to me putting the nails on. I want to show you guys that I have this embossing stylus from Dollar Tree. You can use this as a dotting tool. I did buy some dotting tools off of Amazon, but this is an affordable alternative. I also have for my dip powder stuff, which is cornstarch, I have this contour brush that I got from, I think these are from Family Dollar, not Dollar Tree, but either way, I think they were a dollar. I got these, these are from my daughter's birthday, these cupcake things. These are going to be holding my cornstarch. This brush on glue is from Family Dollar. Cuticle oil from Family Dollar. This was $2.50, this was $2. The nail polishes I'm going to be using, I was going for a red jelly look, but I don't have red in my jelly polishes, only orange, so yeah. But yeah, I got this black for the cow print. I have two different, oh, this is glitter. But I do have the LA, color, LA Colors. Yeah, the regular white polish, I think it's number 402, but I'm probably gonna use this like gel-like thing, gel-like shine. I'm probably gonna use this white instead. I'm gonna use this Wet and Wild. This is from Dollar Tree. I might put some foil or something on. These are from Amazon. I might use this, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so I prepped and I primed my nails. Two coats of dehydrator. And then I did one coat of primer. I fitted my nails and now 
plug my lamp in. What I'm about to do now is do a coat of base coat, gel base coat, put it in the lamp for probably 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna start putting my nails on with the base coat. And I will link a video in the description of a girl putting her nails on with gel base coat. She might use top coat, I don't know. But I'm probably gonna use base coat. I almost forgot one of the most important parts to file the inside and the outside of the nail tip. I already put another layer of base coat on my finger, I mean, you know, my nail. So I'm gonna do this real quick. So there's one nail and then I'm gonna do it to all the nails. I broke it. I need to lower. Oh, that's the lower? Okay, so that one's broke. So I'm gonna have to get another nail. Be sure to do that before you put the base coat and stuff on your nails because look, now I have dust all over my finger this is a kabuki cosmetic brush i think i said these were from family dollar but i'm pretty sure that was that's from dollar tree oh i didn't even put no polish on in my thumb so that's that's fine i'm going to run acetone over this what i'm gonna do Put another layer of base coat on. Hopefully, I'm just gonna put a really thin one because I don't know. Okay, this is the broke nail. It's trash. I'm gonna put this nail. This doesn't fit. Perfect. <sighs> Struggles. Okay, so I have the nail on there. And now I'm going to hold it. See, this is the problem with these like nail things that are like touch sensitive or whatever. As soon as you put your nail under there, it starts, see, it just restarted. So that's why I don't know if I can really recommend this lamp or not. It was like $20, so. You know, it wasn't super expensive. I'm gonna keep it, but it's like kind of annoying. I'll show you guys when all of the nails, see it just restarted. Oh my gosh, literally. This is why I wanted the little one, because this is better when it's like, oh my gosh, just do it. I should be good enough. I'm pretty sure it's on there. I'm gonna do it to the rest of my nails and I'm going to, of course, cure them all in again, but I just wanna flash cure it just to make sure it's on and that's what it's looking like. And I'm going to file the rest of these nails and then, yeah. So I flash cure each of my nails for 60 seconds, just like holding it down with my finger and now I'm curing it again all together, except for the thumb for 60 more seconds. And then I'm gonna start the design. These are my nails right now after the cornstarch. It's not as easy as it looks. I had to let one of them dry for like 10 minutes, but we're getting there. It's 3.43. I'm probably just gonna be back when I'm done all my nails because I have to get this done. I have to be out of here by like five. I had to be out of here by like five, so yeah. All right, you guys, it's the next day. I didn't get to finish my nails yesterday because I had to go to my sister's engagement. Thing. She didn't know she was getting engaged, it's a whole thing. But anyway, this is what my nails are looking like right now. Let me turn, hold on. Okay, this is what they're looking like right now. This one just has base coat on it. I was gonna do a red cow now on the thumbs too, but I'm gonna do black. This hand didn't get shaped as well as I would like, honestly, as compared to this hand. But, you know, I think they look good. So this is what it looks like without, let me set Charlotte. So this is what it looks like without 
base coat if you guys can see the cornstarch nails and the only reason i did not again show you guys exactly my process of doing it is because i haven't perfected it yet mm -mm. and i i don't think that it was a bad idea to use the cupcake thing for the cornstarch if you guys can see i used that but i think it'll be easier like if i use something else i really need to get one of those like dip things like how when they when you do dip nails you like dip it in that little thing but for right now it worked but what i didn't show you guys is that i got these from dollar tree as well again i think i'm gonna do a whole like nail haul but these came in a pack of six from dollar tree so it's really helpful if you need to like dip and i'm pretty sure i can just clean this with acetone i just use this as you can see it's red polish on there all you need to do acetone right here Some acetone like it it's clean clean and i basically not basically i just freestyled the cow print as you can see no hand is the same so i'll be back when all of them are finished and then i can start this video off and end this video off all right so here are my finished results i'm about to put some cuticle oil on and then I'll be back when I look better slash have better lighting to end the video. <sighs> so this was just a little vloggy vlog, you know. This is really cute. My sisters are on the phone, if you guys can hear. I'm just going to swipe. Oh, and I freaking, right after I filmed the last part, my nail glue i spilled it and i didn't even know till i got back downstairs and then the whole glue is just all over the table so like the only good part is the only good part is is that this table is like a uh, whiteboard kind of table for my daughter so yeah so let me rub this beautiful all in it smells so good. Peach in it. This has been like a trying nail set. I don't know what I should name this set, but it has been really trying, honey. Spill my nail glue. Mm, this cuticle oil is nice and real thick. Let me turn the camera around. All right, so here's what they're looking like. Nice little towel set, you know. This hand is like not shaped the same as the other hand, but first set I think did pretty good. And this is like kind of basically like acrylic because I did the cornstarch method. That was a lot though. Here I am again. That's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to do your good deed of the day and like this video. And if you're so inclined, you can also subscribe for extra cool points, extra busts, and extra kudos. That's going to be the end of this video. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.